Hello and welcome back to Higher Maths Differentiation. We're looking at some more complex examples. In this video, we're going to look at example five. So example five, I'm just going to have a quick look back at example four here. What did we do in example four? We split this up into two separate fractions. We then simplified the powers. At that point, we then differentiated. We're going to do exactly the same method in question number five. Except the only difference is we're going to have fractional powers, but the method is the same. So we're going to split this up into three separate fractions. So x cubed over x to the half, 3x squared over x to the half, minus 6x over x to the half. Okay, obviously there we've rewritten the square root of x as x to the power of 1 half, one of our national five indices rules that we are aware of. So we need to simplify this into a format that we can differentiate. So remember, x to the a divided by x to the b is x to the a minus b. Or a national five, I think we'd written a to the power m divided by a to the power n equals a to the m minus n. So that's essentially just the same thing. So three holes minus a half would be six halves minus one half, which would be five halves. 3 multiplied by x squared divided by x to the half would be 3 multiplied by x to the 4 halves minus 1 half, which is 3x to the 3 halves, minus 6x or 6x to the 1 divided by x to the half would be 6x to the 2 halves minus 1 half, which is 6x to the power 1 half. We still have not differentiated. So what I see sometimes a question similar to this there might be three or four lines of working at the start. Pupils will rearrange that and they'll think, well, I've done quite a bit of work there and finished the question. They'll go on and do the next question. Remember to differentiate because we haven't differentiated yet. All we've done, we've got the original question into a format that is suitable to differentiate. So now we've done that, bring the power to the front, reduce the power by one. So five halves minus one is five halves minus two halves, which is three halves. Second term, power to the front, 3 halves multiplied by 3. And then for the power, 3 halves minus 2 halves is 1 half. And same again, a half multiplied by 6. Drop the power by 1. 1 half minus 2 halves is negative 1 half. So here, it's going to tidy up. So 3 halves multiplied by 3. Well, 3 lots of 3 halves would be 9 halves. A half multiplied by 6 is 3. So that's us pretty much finished the question, but as a good young mathematician, as we started off with questions in a format with a root form rather than a fractional index, a fractional power, we're going to put it back into a root format. So, And it's also very, very good practice to constantly use these skills. It does make us remember them. So top number is the power, bottom number is the root. Remember, guys, this is x cubed all square rooted, so it'll be 5 multiplied by the square root of x cubed, all divided by 2. x to the 1 half is just the square root of x, so it's 9 halves, x to the half becomes 9 root x over 2. Or we could just be writing 9 over 2 root x here and 5 over 2 root of x cubed, because that is the same thing. And x to the power negative 1 half, well, a negative power should have that as the denominator, so that'd be three over x to the power one half, which is three over x to the power uh, three over the square root of x. Right, because these are quite long, I will do a separate video for question six.